Here's a quick overview of TurboTax, including how to install it once you've downloaded it and how to get started with filing your tax return. So right here in the downloads folder, we can see that I've downloaded TurboTax and it's a zip file to begin with. And this is when you purchase it from Amazon, you'll receive a zip file like this. And this is whether you're installing it for PC or Mac, you'll receive the same type of file. So once you open that up, um, you can double click on it and open it in Windows um, or uh, let's open it this way. So you'll see something like this and you'll want to click the one if you're on Windows that says Windows PC. If you're on a Mac then you just drag that to your desktop. So let's go ahead and run this installer for Windows. Okay, it extracted it and now, now I have to actually double click it to run it. Okay, so then we have a pop-up here that says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So click yes. And then it actually starts the installation process. Let's just get rid of those windows. Okay, so you can go through here and read the end user license agreement as we all do. I'm sure we all read every word of those. Click next and then you can just keep the default options here. Um, this checkbox, you can uncheck that if you choose to. Uh, this, this basically allows your TurboTax program to send anonymous uh, data back to TurboTax to help improve the program. So you can either leave that checked or uncheck it. Up to you. It doesn't matter. And then this will just take a few minutes as it goes through the installation process. And then it's done. So now we click launch TurboTax. And the very first time you open it, it does take just a slight bit longer than normal. Okay, so now it's going to install the latest updates. The reason it does that, even though we just downloaded the program, is because there are constant revisions to the tax laws and other things. Uh, they fix any bugs, they add features. So you always want to make sure you install the latest updates. And it, it makes you do that when you open the program. So go ahead and click update and it will download and install those and it says 23 minutes left it won't take that long it's actually pretty quick you just let it run and it will go through and download all those updates and make sure you're using the very latest tax laws and uh, other things that they've included in the TurboTax program and it will download um, any states that you have used in the past so those are ready to go Okay, and once it's done downloading those, it shows you what it did and any states that it downloaded, and then you just click continue. And here we go. The very first time you install TurboTax, it's a little bit slower because of all these updates that it needs to download. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and launch it from here again. There we go. Okay, now the next step is you'll need to enter your license code. So if you downloaded that from Amazon, it should be uh, there with your Amazon account. Um, if you got the CD in the mail, then it should be along with the CD. So enter in that license code. And then I just clicked activate after entering the license code. And now I'm all set. Okay, there we go. So now we're finally to this screen. And you'll see this the first time you open TurboTax. You can choose to enter this information or you can leave it blank. Even though the star here says mandatory fields, you don't have to enter that information if you don't want to. I typically just leave that blank, click continue, and it will say you have not filled in these fields. Do you wish to continue without registering? Just say yes. So either way, it's up to you. So now we are actually in TurboTax. This is what it looks like when you start it up. Let's go ahead and make the window bigger and then we can from here begin a tax return. We can if, had, if, if you had started completing a tax return with TurboTax online, you can click this button and it will download and import all of the information that you'd already done there. Uh, if you need to do an amendment to a return that you've already filed, there's a button there. If you need to file an extension, you can do that. 
And you can also get a free one year subscription to Quicken Starter Edition if you're a first time Quicken user. So you can click that. So let's just go ahead and click begin. And we want to start a new individual tax return. Or if you need to prepare W-2s or 1099s for employees or contractors, you can also do that through TurboTax if you're using the home and business version. That's not included in the other versions of TurboTax. So let's just click start a new tax return. And now it will search your computer and look for any previous returns if you've used TurboTax in the past so that it can import your name, uh, your social security number, and all your other information. So we can see here that it found my tax return from last year right here and so I can just click on transfer return and it will bring all that uh, information in from last year's return and it will just save me a lot of steps in entering information if you've never used TurboTax before then it won't find a, an, an old file of course and so you just click on continue without transferring but I'll go ahead and transfer that information in from last year's return and that will save me uh, probably 30 minutes of entering information uh, because it's all the same stuff. The same name, my spouse's name, my children's names, and so on. So everything's there from last year. I can see it right here. Click continue. And then uh, click continue again. Let's review your info from last year. And this is basically how the rest of the program works. You just can you just keep clicking continue and read the information and answer the questions. Uh, is this a 2022 married filing joint return for blah and blah? Yes, we are filing a joint return again. Or you say no, we are not. And then click continue and you just keep going through and entering your information uh, as it prompts you. And you will be going through these tabs as you go through and enter that information. And eventually you'll be finished. So it's a pretty easy process once you get it installed and started. Um, and it will help you get the most out of your uh, tax refund. So I would encourage you to click the link below in the comment area um, in order to find the best prices for TurboTax and compare the different versions so you can decide which version would work best for you.